Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss structural representation of finite automata. Here, the structural representation of finite automata consists of infinite length tape. Okay, here we consist of infinite length tape, and the tape is divided into cells. Okay, these are the cells. Okay, these empty cells represents infinite length tape. Okay, and here it uh, the left end marker is represented with pi, and the right end marker it is represented with a dollar symbol. And the here and in between cells are the string is being processed. Okay, here the string is being processed, and read or write head it examines. One square at a time and can move one square either to the left or to the right. Okay, which cell to be processed? It will tell that. Okay, and here finite control. What finite control does? And it is responsible for controlling total function of finite automata machine. Okay, it will decide which input symbol is to be read next. And where to move, either to the left or either to the right. Okay, the input to the finite control will be usually input symbol from the input tape or the present state machine. Okay, or the present state machine. The output may be the movement of read or write head along the tape to the next square or to null. Okay, or to the null state. Three components. One is input tape, reading head, and another one is finite control. Here, what are those three? We will see now. Okay, one is first one is input tape. Here, input tape is divided into squares. Okay, I have already said you input tape is divided into squares. Each square contains a single symbol from the alphabet pi. Okay, here we can see. See, it is started with. Here it is started with pi, right? And and the end squares of each tape contains end marker at the left side, that is pi, and the right side, that is dollar. Okay. The absence of end markers indicate that the tape is of infinite length. The left to right sequence of symbols between the end markers is a Input string to be processed. Here and next one is reading head. The read or write head examines one square at a time and can move one square either to the left or to the right. Okay, here you can see reading head. It it can either move one step to the right or one step to the left. Okay, it examines that. And finite state control. What finite state control is doing? And it is responsible for controlling total functioning of finite automata machine. Okay, it will decide which input symbol is read next and where to move, either to the left or to the right. Okay, the input to the finite control will be usually the input symbol from the input tape and the present state of machine and the output may be movement of read or write head along the tape to the next square or to null move and next one is the next state or the ne new state of finite state machine.